You might see the reflection of some lights on water behind me. This is the parking lot of the Ross store at Watt and Elkhorn in the North Highlands area. It just absolutely dumped here. The rain, this rain, this flooding, it's like credit card debt. It accumulates so quickly. It can take a long time for it to go away. And if you find yourself too deep in it, you're in for a world of trouble. These are not the waters of a choppy lake. This is the intersection of Watt Avenue and Elkhorn Boulevard a few hours after storm clouds unleashed a thundering downpour of rain. This is what the rain looked like right outside our studio just before 5 o'clock. And shortly after that, the reports came flooding in. Trouble spots all over Sacramento. The amount of rain just too much for some storm drains to handle, especially at the peak of leaf season. This was the scene in Curtis Park as utility crews worked to unclog a drain near 24th Street and Castro Way. Some friends of Fox 40 sent us this video from Interstate 80 at Fulton Avenue. And this flood was on southbound Highway 99. We've all heard the advice, don't drive through flood water. But sometimes by the time you realize you're in it, there's just no easy way to turn around. Many of the drivers at Watt and Elkhorn tried to navigate their way toward the left-hand lanes where the flood water was shallow. Others just plowed right through the deep end. At least one car got stuck and had to be towed away from the scene. So the water has receded to a certain degree at Watt and Elkhorn. Traffic is moving through that area, but if you are coming this way, I would still avoid it if you have a low profile vehicle and that is south of Elkhorn on Watt Avenue heading northbound. That's where we that's where we are reporting live covering local news that matters. Dennis Shanahan, Fox 40 News.